Movers, where we at? Seven o'clock. It's Wednesday. My movers, where we at? 7 p.m. Wednesdays. We know what we do. This is our time, y'all. 7 p.m. Wednesdays. This is the Power Move Hour. We here, y'all. We here. Let me get a little adjusted light up in here. Woo! Look at your boy Prez stepping it up a little bit. Got a little light. <laughs> Movers, where y'all at? Oh, wow. Logistics chick in the building. I see you, girl. What's up, Sam? Where my movers at? Movers worldwide. This is our time. You know how we do. Monday night, 7 p.m. Is that Jamil Spence up in here? Jamil Leon, what up? My brother Jamil in the building. Joy, I see you. Martin, I see you in the building. This is what I'm talking about. 7 p.m. is our time. If you're a mover, you need to be in the building. This is where we encourage each other. We inspire each other. We learn from each other. We motivate each other. We educate one another. This is our community. This is our community and we're going to keep growing it and we're going to keep encouraging one another. I love what I see going on. Who else in the building tonight? I see all kind of people. I don't know. Is that D? Is that my girl Coach D over there? What up? What up? Ra Dollars in the building. I see you, Ra. Ra, I love you out there promoting. I see you reposting. I see you doing your thing every week, inviting people to do to 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 learn about what we're doing, inviting them to this to this live every week. Ra, I appreciate you. Real talk. Warrior mentality just jumped in. The crew is here. This is what we do. We're gonna give it a second or two. Just let everybody continue to flood in. But this is our time. TC Unleashed, I see you, Troy, what up? Everybody go follow my man, TC Unleashed. He's killing it, a lot of motivation. A lot of motivation from his end. I see y'all. We gonna keep doing what we do here every single week. Who is that? Is that is that Gary? I can't read it, like my eyes ain't the best, y'all, but I'm trying my best to give everybody shout outs. So put your name if I can. Joshia, what up? I see you. Let's keep spreading the word. Let's keep showing love. This is not a Sean thing. This is not a Prez thing. This is our thing. This is our safe space. And we are going to continue to build with one another. We're going to continue to grow this community. We're going to continue to learn from one another. And, and, and I'm going to do my part. That's all I can do. But then it's up to us. So I hope y'all came in here tonight with some questions. I hope y'all came in here tonight with some testimonials. And we want to keep it positive. Like last week, we had a lot of people come in with some dope testimonials. But I want to flip it this week. Tell me some things that y'all have done. Some strides that y'all have made. Everybody on the call need to hear that. Did you close an account this week? I want you to join in the conversation and tell everybody how long you've been working on this account and you finally closed it. Tell me about that check you got this week. I want you to tell everybody on the call, I've been working on this same check for X amount of time and I finally got it done. This is where we encourage each other, y'all, because this journey, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. Nobody said it was going to be easy. But that's what makes us, us. That's why we're movers. That's why we in the building. We are the movers. We're the example. And we're going to keep growing this community. Shout out to my man, Success. If y'all haven't had a chance, please go check out this interview. I know a lot of people who follow me know me from the music industry days. And if you're into music for whatever reason, I did uh, an interview with the VP of a &R at um, Atlantic Records. We dropped it this week. My man, success. Thanks so much for, you know, just, just allowing yourself to, to give all of these gems and let people know what they need to do to get a record deal and get, you know, themselves signed in the music industry. So thanks to him. It's a lot of gems on that interview. So go out there and please, you know, watch it. If you are in the music industry or you know somebody who is, um, 
in the music industry or want to be in the music industry. Early, I saw my man Jamil Spencer here. He's another one we interviewed. Yo, Jamil, your interview is coming up, kid. We about to drop it. We was just editing today. So it's a lot of good stuff coming up, y'all. And we're going to keep supporting each other. We're going to keep using this time to really just spread love amongst us because I truly believe I don't have all the answers like I always tell y'all. But it's somebody in this community who does. It's somebody in this community who has been through some things that can help myself or anybody else who's going through something very similar right now. So we just going to keep helping one another grow. Before I get started, I need to say, it, you know, it's 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 very, very, oh man, I see my man Warrior Mentality said he got six orders this week. He shipped them out. Yo, Warrior Mentality, I love that. This is, and this is the whole reason we do what we do. I love that. Like, keep, keep flooding it in on the comments. I'm trying to read it. If y'all are working on something, promote it here. Let's promote it amongst each other. This is the way we're all going to help each other grow. And more important, I want to, again, shout out my man Rod Dollars for reposting. I want to shout out my man Young C. I saw you reposting for everybody. It's not just about liking. Like, like when I say we going on live, please repost it. If you're a mover, I got to believe you are in a circle of movers. You are with people who want more out of this life, who refuse to settle for where they're at right now. So please repost, tell a friend to tell a friend. Every Monday night, it's just some quick Monday night motivation. And every Wednesday night, I open the floor up to all of the movers out there, to you guys. This is where you give your testimonials. You let us know what you're working on, what you need help with. If you got any questions, I'm here to answer. But there's a lot of great people in here tonight. I saw my man Jamil. This is this is a marketing genius. Work with some of the greats out there. Diddy, Dane Dash, Hove, just to name a few. If you got a marketing question, ask him. He's here. He's here for a reason. So we're going to keep building each other up, y'all. As y'all can see, I stepped it up a little bit. I got my little light. Am I looking a little better? Because it, it, it's been dark up in here. But I'm learning as we go. You know, we're going to keep going and we're going to keep encouraging each, each other. But I want to, um, you know, typically I don't really talk on, on, on Wednesdays and go into my whole spiel. But it's something that's on my heart that I want to share with you guys. Um, and then, we'll, you know, we'll open the floor and we do it like we always do. But real talk, guys... You know, as, as I was sitting and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to myself, like, you know, and I'm thinking you know, a lot of times I think about my own story and, 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 and I think about all of the things that held me back and things I had to overcome so that maybe I can just take pull from my experience and I can share with y'all and I can tell y'all so many of y'all and so many people out there in this world, including myself. Like, we say we want different, but we scared to do different. We scared to get out there and be different. And truth of the matter is, if you want something you never had, you got to go out there and do something you never did. If you want to become a person that you're not now, that you are not right now, you got to go out there and meet some people who are not in your immediate circle. And so often, we get stuck by comfortability, we get stuck by people talking about us, and we worried about what they gonna say about us if we switch it up. Oh, he changed. Oh, she changed. She talked different. Oh, he's white now. He acting different. He talking what? Get, get out of here with all that. If you want something different, you got to be willing to do different. And it's as simple as that, y'all. I remember when I was coming up and as a young guy in this Bronx, I'm, I'm, I, I knew, I, I love the Bronx. I always tell y'all that. I'm BX born and raised, but I knew what I wanted in this life. It wasn't in the Bronx. And I had friends. It was four of us. And when you saw them, you saw me. When you saw me, you saw them. But the point is, I had to leave. I had to get out that Bronx because what I wanted to become was greater than the Bronx. 
and I went away to school. And I'm sure when I left, my friends was like, yo, what, you know, what's he doing? Or maybe I gave them the encouragement to leave. But I remember when I finally got to school, I'm there and I'm doing my thing and I'm thinking that this is the right path because this is what I've always been taught. Go to school. But when I got up there in my junior year, I dropped out because there was a voice on the inside of me. This voice on the inside of Sean that was like, look, whatever it is that you're supposed to do in this world, I know everybody and their mother is telling you school is the right route to do it. But for me, I had to trust that voice on the inside and I had to drop out of school. And everybody was telling me, all my friends, Sean, if you drop out, that's it. Don't drop out. Don't go back. But I had to keep continuing to follow what was in me. In the same time, when I, and I'm always up front with y'all when I'm chasing this dream of mine, trying to get in the game. Internship after internship. I'm sure people was looking at me like, yo, what are you doing? Give it up. The dream is over. You can't get a job. But I had to keep chasing this thing. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Stop worrying about what people are saying. Stop. I knew they was talking about me. I knew when I left the block, they was talking about me. I knew when I went to school and I dropped out, they were saying things like, yo, Sean, this is, this is the wrong move for you. They didn't know what was in my heart. But I couldn't listen to what people was talking about. I knew when I was chasing that dream of getting in the industry and keep getting knocked down, keep getting knocked down. People tell me, yo, you got a baby on the way. Take care of that. Be responsible. Be a man. But they didn't know what was in my heart. They didn't know my, my, my aspirations and my dreams. And I'm just telling y'all, stop worrying about fitting in and stand out. That's what you need to be worried about. You too worried about fitting in and you should be worried about standing out. You too worried about being an outcast. And you should be concerned about being an outlier. Stop worrying about what they think now and focus on what they will think when you become the person that you see yourself being one day. That's what's important. Stop giving them all of this power over you. Sometimes you have to change your environment. You got to change your friends. And that ain't an easy thing to do. But I promise you, if you want to get to where you are trying to go, sometimes you have to change that circle of friends. And it's important. And I'm not going to go on long. I told you all on Wednesdays, this is our time. But it just was on my heart because I see so many people who are so worried about what the next person think. I don't care what they think. You shouldn't care what they think. Worry about what's in you, what's in your heart, what's in your soul. I love the fact that I'm looking, there's 24 people in here right now. It's 24 people who are not afraid to be different. It's 24 people who are striving and want something more out of this life. You want to learn. You want something better for yourself. I love that. It's Wednesday night, 7 p.m. You could be doing anything under the sun right now. And instead, y'all are in here. Vibing off one another. Getting this right energy. This is what it's all about, guys. Like I started off, I told y'all. If you want something you never had, you got to do something you never did. And and, 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 I, and encourage y'all. Y'all are the movers. Y'all are the one. This is about us. This is where we're going to learn from one another. This is our safe space. This is where we can ask the questions we've always wanted to ask. This is where we can talk about the highs and the lows with like-minded people. Get around the right people and I promise you your life will begin to change but you got to get around the right people and sometimes that means leaving that old life behind you sometimes it means leaving that old life right where it's at in that old place that you are so familiar with but change has to come y'all if you're going to make a change in your own life so 
with that being said, and I just wanted to say that I don't know who need to hear that. But I know all of us sometimes worry about what everybody else thinks. Screw them. Don't even worry about them. Get in, the, in, in, in a circle of people who are like-minded, who are trying to get ahead. These are the people you need to be around. Don't worry about how anybody else is looking at you. I don't care if it's your mama. I don't care who it is. Don't worry about them. When you get to the finish line, trust me, believe me when I tell you, everybody going to be your friend anyway. All right, real quick, let's open this floor up. We got anybody who want to step in and we want positive energy. We, get somebody, let's let's jump in this live real, not, um, real quick and talk about some wins tonight. Everybody, I see you typing. Stop hiding behind the words. Jump in this live real quick. And, 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 and if you got any questions, like I said, this is a safe space. VDOT, what up? VDOT, what up? One of the illest cameramen in the game. One of the illest photographers out there. If you got any wins, I want you to jump in this live and encourage the next person. If you got any questions, this is the place to do it. Let me see if anybody's trying to get in this live. Let's see. Let it be known, y'all. Let it be known you're trying to get in. And I'm going to let y'all in. This Again, this is this is a we thing. It's not a foreign press thing. This is a us thing. Who Yo. we got? Yo, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Peace, brother. Who we got? Bo, Bo Money. You might not remember me, but... Bo uh. Hold up, but like Bo Money from down south, like from from radio, yes, Chris channel, yeah, Yo, yeah. Bo. Okay, before <laughs> we even go into this, you're not gonna remember. I was thinking about you the other day because mm -hmm. you told me get a camera and document this journey. Do you remember that? Yep, I sure do. I couldn't remember who told me that. Oh my god, yeah, Bo, yeah, what yeah. Up, bro? nothing, 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 nothing. I'm just. I'm 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 taking in this energy and I'm listening to what you're saying and I'm kind of just amazed by it. No, I'm, I'm not amazed by it because you've always been like this. But here's the thing that's so wild. Like when you just said that, like my mind fast forwarded to my best closest friend was Tracy Jackson, who went to Howard University. And when I was graduating, I said I want to be in the music industry. She's like, Listen, I need you to meet this guy. And I was like, okay, cool. No, seriously, you need to meet him. So I was like, whatever. So fast forward, I'm interning. It was J-Core at the time in St. Louis at the radio station, Magic 108. And I'm interning. And um, it was a bad boy promo. And you came to St. Louis, and I met you for the first time. And I was like, we got a mutual friend. And she'd been trying to hook me up with you. And you were like, what's up? Good to meet you. He was real cool. And you were already getting ready to, you weren't ready to take off yet, but you were just about to, right? And I remember we had two ways, and you said, give me your information. I said, okay, cool. I gave it to you. Fast forward. I didn't have nobody really to talk to, but I was pissed. I was mad because I, like, I had been interning for a year. Kids might not understand that, but I'm like, I'm working for free. I'm in college. I have no money. I'm about to quit. And I, I remember telling you that. And you said, listen, man, do not quit. I'm telling you, do not quit. Because if you do, you'll never get an opportunity to get to where you think you want to go. Never really understood that, right? <laughs> but Because, <laughs> again, fresh out of college, who knows what? And I'm looking at you like, okay, if I can just get where you're at and then – who knew, like, we got to give the roses while people are alive. But that stuck with me. I never, and when I tell you, brother, like, I've watched your journey and the journey that I've been on, phenomenal. Like, I never worked the Clear Channel to work to iHeartMedia, worked in Houston, worked in 12 different markets, to then when I left, worked at Rock Nation. Like, come on. So, and that's just, you know what I mean? So what you're saying, if, if they don't listen to anybody else, they better listen to you because 
this story that when I met you was over 25 years ago. A long time. <laughs> and the you are still no the same overnight way. <laughs> you are still the same way that you were then. You've never, you've always been confident, but you've always been open. You've always been honest. You've always been helping. And you've always been the guy, listen, if we can't, if it's a problem, we'll figure it out. You've always been like that. And you still are. <laughs> Nah, I'm 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 gonna tell I'm gonna tell you, Bo. Like for one, you don't understand how how my heart feel right now. Even just seeing you, make sure you DM me and give me um your number. I didn't even know that you was following me like that. Real talk. But it's crazy because I remember years ago you told me about you got to get a camera. You probably don't even remember that. No, because um, I was the station photographer. I was telling you, get yeah, a you camera, because you were doing all these things, and I and you were like, you kept saying, "Bo, you're not gonna believe me," and I'm like, "Of course I believe you, but you need a camera so other people can believe you." There you go. <laughs> I remember that, and I was thinking about it the other day, and it's so crazy how God worked because I couldn't remember who told me that, and you, the last person I expected to jump in this live. You know, I mean, it's so good to hear your voice and, and, and you know, just sharing your journey because in this live right now, we got a community of movers. It's people who want to do better with their life. It's people who are building businesses. It's people who are refusing, refusing to accept their circumstances as it is today. And they, <laughs> just even hearing your story, I know you encourage somebody. Well, and you're right, people. And sometimes the problem is this. We, we, we do get caught up in our own thoughts. And we mm -hmm. have a belief system that wasn't built by us. It was, it was built by a lot of people, a lot of influencers, teachers, reverends, your parents, whatever. But now you've got this idea how you think things should go. And it might not be with, with, with reality, for real, for real. Like, unless you change how you're thinking is the only way you'll find out what change really is. And you, you nailed it. Like, you have to change. Like, if you, you got continue, to. so you that means if that means you have to change your mind, well, then change your mind. You have the right to do it. It don't. It doesn't have to be. Oh, I'm a Baptist and I'm going to and I graduated and I'm a I I am a part of this fraternity and I'm sticking to this because this is what I believe in. Well, that's on you. But if you're not progressing. And no shots fired, no cap. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, if things are bad for you right now, that's cool. You got the opportunity to change your mind and make a major change. That's 100%. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something, Bo. You know, and I want to let other people in this live. So, number one, I thank you. But number two, I want you to definitely DM me because I would love to talk to you offline. It's so good to hear your voice, see your face, brother. But, you know... People need to hear these stories. They need to be encouraged. Like, they, they, they need to... People look at me and they look at you, right? And they see us today. But you just said, Sean, this go back 25 years. And that's what people don't understand. This grind, it ain't no such thing as an overnight success. Y'all can look at Bo Money. You can look at Sean Press today. 25 years ago, we were struggling. It, we had nothing but a dream. We had nothing but a desire for more. So if you're finding yourself in this same place right now, stick with it. Do not give up. No different than I told you years ago, Bo. I'm telling everybody who's listening, don't you dare give up. They don't can come. They, they try to because they tried to condemn you, Sean. Because they, you know, both of y'all didn't finish Howard, and but you made the choice. You said, and I remember because you you shared that with me when when we were talking backstage. You were like, you know, I dropped out of Howard University, Bo, and I was just like, No, nah, I went upstate. I went upstate. Um, I went upstate in New York. I didn't go to HU. Not HU, oh, but yeah. But I, I probably told you I dropped out, which I yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which you did, but yeah. You were supposed to. That like people got to really realize that when a pa a journey could really possibly be written. So everything that's already happened and everything that you went through to get to where you are in life, guess what? It was supposed to happen to get it's you to that to next level. That's yes. just how it goes. That's right. And what I've always res respected about you, Sean, was the fact that you like you knew then. Go with your heart. Like if you if if 
If your heart is telling you one thing, don't let your mind talk you out of it. No, <laughs> no, don't let your mind, don't let your mind, and don't let, you know, each of our journeys, just like each of us are different people, each of our journeys are different. And what work for the next person might not work for you. So you can get caught up into somebody telling you this is the right way. There's a hundred million ways to get from wherever you at to New York City. There's a hundred million ways to get from wherever you at to Atlanta, Georgia, or L.A. You could train, plane, automobile. So whatever works for you. But only thing that any people can talk crap all they want, but everybody loves a winner. Absolutely. Bro, I'm going to let people into this live, kid. Make sure you DM me your info. John, blessing. Appreciate the time. And again, love what you're doing. You, you got my information coming to you right now. Be, stay blessed. You like, likewise, Bo, and make sure you stay on. We, 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 we need to encourage these movers. I'm Boy, here. Love. I'm not moving. Yes, love. Who else we got trying to get in? Who else we got? Uh, who else we got trying to get in? Any of my movers out there, step up. This is your time right now. This is your time. Step up. Let's encourage each other. I want to learn from y'all, and I want other people to learn from y'all. So anybody trying to get in, let it be known now. Who we got? We waiting for somebody to get in. It looked like this internet connection ain't really doing its job. Okay, I'm going to click off. I'll come back to you. It's, it's not connected. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Let somebody on. Make sure we live, y'all. Make sure y'all are inviting people. Anybody who's trying to learn. Anybody who's trying. Oh! Right, what's oh, happening? Up. What's happening? What's happening? Yo, yeah. BK, what up? And then see, I got a whole, I got a whole quarantine beard and apple since I seen you last, brother. <laughs> nah, you see, you see, you see, you still looking good. You looking like an R and B singer. <laughs> Trying to smooth Yo. it out. Trying to smooth it out. But let the audience know who you are. What's up, everybody? Byron Kirkland, Stealth Group Management. Brandon, you know, making some things happen behind the scenes, stealth wise. You know, we we don't we don't we don't do a lot of bragging. We just get the work done. That's right. That's yeah. right. But just so that people can know, Byron, Byron's very humble, but he's a very, very successful executive in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Byron, thanks for even ju jumping in. Did you get a chance to really like, like listen? Because the reason we do this mm -hmm. is, you know, I don't care whether it's music. I don't care if you're into real estate. I don't care if you're into fashion. It's our job as people who have made it out to give back to our community, to educate them, to inspire them. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that you jumped in real quick because obviously you wasn't born with a silver spoon in your mouth and you've done some amazing things. So maybe you could just say a few words to everybody in this live to just encourage them on their journey. I mean, I mean, I mean it's real simple. I think, you know, you, you, once you find your path and find your passion, pursue it. Don't let anybody stop you from what you're doing. I mean, that's really it, you know, so many folks along the way, you know, I started off as an intern. I interned for Arista Records and Bad Boy first started, right? And took a whole nother route to ultimately get back to actually be working directly with Puff, you know, 15 years later, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, so many people were like, oh, you know, why are you doing this? Why aren't you in finance? You know, music was always something that I always loved. It was always a passion, it was always like the soundtrack to my life. And, um, but, you know, also knew that, you know, that the thoughts that I had and the ideas that I had would impact culture. So I, I, I started really, before I got into music in, in a real way, um, I was doing marketing. You know, uh, when I met you, I came in, you know, we were running marketing for Sean John and did a lot of, a lot of campaigns together. We launched a lot of, a lot of real dope initiatives. And, um, you know, every, every, every time along the way, people will ask, you know, you know how long are you going to do this for? You know, I, and you can't let other people's fears be your reality, you know, so... Woo! So, say that. Say that again. Say I love that. Say that again. Yeah, you can't let other people's fears be your reality. So you got to be confident on your path, even even when you don't see it. You know, you got to mm -hmm. keep 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 pushing. You know, so, so many of my friends who I came in the game with now have regular jobs because they couldn't see they couldn't they couldn't see it. You know, 
And, um, you know, you know, I, I would, you know, you see these things on the gram and the one thing I, I remember one of them stood out was like, yo, I just didn't quit. You know, I'm not like, I'm not, I can't say I'm not the smartest person in the planet. You know, I, I, I think I am smart. They're, they're all smarter, you know, but there's not people who work, work as hard as me and I, I'm, and I'm definitely not stopping. And, mm -hmm. and that determination, that drive allowed me to kind of, you know, position myself in a, in a, in a, in a real good way and, and build, build a business of my own um, and, and to work in tandem with folks who I used to work with, work for. So it, so it really, it really changed my dynamic, you know, and, um, you know, and COVID didn't stop it. You know, it's, just, it's the same, it's the same aggression and the same passion. You just got to sort of maybe change your path, you know, and be able to pivot, but it's all about pushing forward. You know, you know, Byron, one of the things I always loved and respected about you, and, and, and I think it's, it's necessary for you to share it with the audience. Mm -hmm. When I met you, you was in marketing, but you was in fashion. Right, hundred percent. Yeah, that's in fashion. That, that, that's what I knew you as. Absolutely. And you have since gone on to 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 manage some of the biggest artists out there. Mm -hmm. And you know, I know that your company name is Stealth Management, but if you could just drop a couple of names, because you, what 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 is it? What I find that people uh, they hold themselves back mm -hmm. because they know that people expect them to do what they've always known them to do. Right. And it's okay to start all over. It's okay mm -hmm. to say, yo, you know what? You might know me from doing X. Right. But, you know, that was one part of my life. Mm -hmm. And life is ever changing. And, and, and I'm trusting my passion. I'm trusting my heart. And I'm making a hard pivot. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to do Y and Z. So if, if if you don't mind, you know I I, I don't want to throw throw you some of your artist name up there, but you know as mm -hmm. people, they they need to know that you can make a switch and be very mm -hmm. successful in both industries. Absolutely, absolutely. Like um, what's funny when when I went to, when I went to fashion, I didn't even have a fashion background. You know, I just I just knew how to dress. I like I, li I like clothes. But I remember sitting down with Puff, um, at the time Dowie, you know, uh, public school. Shout out to my, to my brother. He was marketing director for Sean John, and he was making a transition himself from from marketing to design. And at the time, we were you know we were all trying to figure out golf and spend a lot of time together. Um, at the time, I had um, I had my own agency called the Run Group with my man Chuck Baker, and we had mm -hmm. um, Anheuser Busch as our client. And we had um, we did Ludacris. Ludicr I'm, I'm about to date myself. We had Ludacris on tour doing a chicken and beer tour with Anheuser mm -hmm. Busch. Um, ironically, um, Bill O'Reilly really put like. He, he he remind me of our curse. He he really really fucked up my whole program because in the in the middle of our tour, he launched a whole campaign stating that Ludacris was a gangster rapper, and he decided to align himself with with Anheuser Busch and folks from Anheuser Busch. You know, his shareholders were calling up and saying that they wouldn't they would no longer support the product if they were down with Ludacris. Now we all knew Luda is not a gangster at all, but mm -hmm. Bill O'Reilly Bill O'Reilly knowing his audience was was saying things like, if you read his lyrics, you know move, bitch, get out the way, or I got holes in different area codes. It, it really sent a shockwave through it has a bush. Now, li listen, we love Luda. We're still going to pay him out on this project, but we need to sort of shift gears from a talent standpoint. So I went R&B. So I went and got Carl Thomas and Mario Winans. And that's how I really got on the radar because Puff was trying to figure out, like, who, who has these guys on tour? How did they get on this in Bush bush tour? Mm -hmm. and so, so, then, so then not only was Dowie pushing me to go over there, then, then Jamil was like, yo, the name is buzzing around in the buildings because of what you're doing with with, with Carl Thomas and and um and Mario Winans, and uh, maybe you should come and take this take you know sit down with Puff and see and see how the interview goes. And you know I was the only one there who interview without a fashion background. I had on a you know I had on, I had on my suit because you know that's what we do. You know everybody else in the fashion game had on their cool little streetwear clothes and stuff. And, and I sat down and, and you know looked Puff eye to eye and we talked. And um you know he loved our conversation. He, lo he loved the work that I did. You know, did some fact checking on me to find out things that I did in the past, even as an intern. And um, he's like, he wanted to give me a shot. Um, and uh, you know, it was funny. I, I just wanted the acknowledgement, and I was actually going to—I actually passed on the job initially, to be to be honest. Wow. But then, wow. But then, then I come to find out, Jay Z was trying to eat my lunch and take my client. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, and also, you know, you know, we 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 fail up. And, and, and to be honest, when I was in over my head. We were both, you know, I don't want to speak for Chuck, but we went over our head with the Anheuser-Busch client. Because when you have, we were doing $4 million in billing with Anheuser-Busch on that tour. 
Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, excited to have my own business. But when you do $4 million in billing with an agency, with the, with the, with the, the client, you got to have the money. Like they're, yeah, not, they're, not, they're, they're not giving you the money to spend. You actually have to be able to front load a lot of these initiatives on your own and bankroll it, submit receipts to get reimbursed. So that was an eye opener for me. I'm like, oh, shit, I got to get I got to get a line of credit with the bank. I got to have a with my bank. You know, you know, you would hear growing up, you need to have a rapport with your bank. But you don't you don't know what that is until you actually in the midst and need a line of credit, you know, and, and it's and it's more so it's more than just having good credit. It's about, you know, are you, you know, are you, is, it, is it money flowing in and out of these accounts? And so, right. um, you know, uh, so, so again, I had to pivot. I had to figure out, like, hey, I'm, I'm going to fight Jay-Z to keep this, keep this account. Or do I have this other, you know, person who I've idolized, want, want to work for, and felt like I could make a difference? Do, do, I, do I shift and pivot into, into a new lane? And so I did it. You know, not having a fashion background. He even said, like, yo, we, I love, I love, I love, love your tenacity. You don't have a fashion background. I'm, I'm gonna, so I'm going to put you in as a, as a brand manager. I'm still give you a... Mm -hmm. Give you the salary that their salary requirements, and I was like, "Yo, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'm gonna have that job in six months. I'm a fast learner." And I was saying, yeah. was, "It was it wasn't six months, but in the seventh month, in the middle of that whole vote or die campaign, you know, he get he get I, you know that that person kind of played themselves out, and I and I earned I earned the spot." Yeah, but you, you know, you know, Byron, I appreciate you even telling that story, and I love and mm -hmm. you know, I love the fact that you said you failed up because sometimes we get into stuff, and, and mm -hmm. for anybody who's watching this, y'all need to hear this part right here. Mm -hmm. And it's something I spoke about on Monday is trust the process. Mm -hmm. You got to crawl before you walk Absolutely. and you got to walk before you run. And just because you had a $4 million account doesn't necessarily mean you were set up nah. to handle a $4 million account. And that's nah. something that's very, very important. And on top of that, you know, in other, there's other people who are trying to join. And I thank you so much for, for even, even coming into this uh, conversation. But you've gone on. To, to, to manage some of, of, of the dopest artists out there, whether it's, it's MGK, yes. um, you know, YBN. all of the YBN. Yeah, yeah, Corday right now is killing it and his whole group. So, you like, like, you clearly are exactly why we are doing what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, to be able to get the management for YBN Corday and, and, and Almighty J. And who, mm -hmm. who, who, who's the very first one that blew out of that crew? Not me. You know, not, 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 me. not me. Yeah, he was he was, you know, rubbing off the paint. Fish grease hot. But we had to get his business right. We got his business in order, you know, taught him to make certain certain decisions, you know, like, you know, put the guns down and let's and let's really like focus on living and, and, and putting the right energy out there. And then I was able to get him a brand Jordan deal. So all the things Ooh. I did before from a branding standpoint allowed for me to came be, into play, came into play. So doing brand deals prior to it is what makes me, I think, exceptional as a manager because I can find identify the partnerships. And then, and then really treat treat the artists like a business because that's what they are. They just they just have an opinion and talk back. But you know <laughs> you, got, you got to treat it. You got to treat it like a real brand, like a real business, and pump that energy into it. So it was a but, whole but, thing. But that, that's why that's why you have to, guys. If you're watching this, mm -hmm. trust the process. Trust mm -hmm. the process. This mm -hmm. man is reiterating something we talk about all the mm -hmm. time. Look at the way his background in working with brands came to serve him. When he went full fledged into to artist management, mm -hmm. and 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 because he had that background, it makes him an exceptional manager, because now he's able to do more than homeboy management, which is just book shows. So 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 good looking right. out for them, Jim right. Byron. I appreciate you. All right, all right, I Byron. Much you. love, brother. Let, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring doing, this man. next. Keep, keep motivating the people, man. They need it. We all need it. Nah, thank you. Thank you. And thanks for jumping in. You motivated a lot of people tonight, kid. I don't know if you're reading them comments, but look, look, at look. It's, it's really right. setting off because you you said some words that encouraged them. So thank you, right, Byron. Awesome, man. All right. All right, y'all. Peace. My brother. Who else we got on this live tonight? Guys, remember, every Monday night, 7 p.m., every Wednesday night, this is when we open it up. It's a power move hour. Y'all know how we do. We share with one another. Make sure y'all, if you haven't watched this week's um interview with my man Success, he is the head A and R, the A and R uh, Vice President A and R at Atlantic Records. Please go to our YouTube channel, Power Move Makers, and check it out. Let me see who else is in the building. Uh, who we got here?
y'all got anything to contribute to the conversation, please make it known. I will let you in the conversation. Stop, stop standing behind. Just work. Just, just, just typing on the screen. This is a we thing. You cannot, and it's a safe place. You cannot learn if you are too afraid to ask the questions. You have to ask the questions. You got people here who want to help you. People here who are excited about sharing their information. Ask the questions. Who we got? Who we got joining this live, y'all? Please think about any question, anything y'all might be going through right now. Hey, Kimmy, is that you again? Yeah, this is my main account. So um, I was talking to you from my music account. Okay. But this is my uh, main account. But hello, great to see you. And thank you for that word on Monday. That was on point. The, 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 Kimmy, we, it's, it's, it's great to see you, girl, back, back in the building. I hope you're learning, and I hope you're being inspired. Um, so the way my brain works, right, church kid, I grew up hearing sermons. Everything is a sermon in my head and then it inspires everything I hear then inspires like something like a word. It's like an instruction word. And when the brother was just talking before and when you were talking, I heard, um, I heard like almost like God saying that don't disqualify yourself if you you haven't worked for a multinational company if you don't if you don't have skills that you think oh I've had this position then I can parlay to this position everything in your life is a transferable skill are you a mother you have you're a nurse you're a chef, you're a doctor, you are a counselor, you are many things. Mm -hmm. So you walk in with the room and that's how you eliminate imposter syndrome. And that's something that I speak to myself and I say, I, where I stand, I belong. Greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. And he that sent me made this world. So where I stand is my father's ground. And that's how I combat imposter syndrome. And so when I was hearing you talk before, I was like, there were so many skills, transferable skills that I've had. Like I, I've spent like three months in hospital, but guess what? Physiotherapy took strength of mind to learn to walk again 10 times. Um, I've faced, uh, I've watched five people pass away in front of me in hospital. That took mental fortitude and emotional intelligence. I've had to, to sweet talk people, um, learn their native language, say, how do you say thank you in your language? Give them a pet name and be friends with them. They will give you anything you need. People skills, I've learned that too. Everything that I've done, I was a chef. I worked for two celebrity chefs and I, you know, went to culinary school before I studied music. That in itself trained me. I'm not, I'm not scared of hard work, long hours, um, responding to authority, accountability, and we're working independently. Everything that you do, every juncture of your life gives you transferable skills we need to be more aware of the little things in our lives and stop um, life happening to us and actually open our eyes and say, Lord, what are you doing? What am I doing? How does it propel me to where I need to go? Because one way or another, I am getting to my destination. Well, I think you raised so many great points to me. And, and I thank you for even jumping in this conversation, but it's something that... It, it seems to be a theme for tonight. Um, there's no skills that are wasted. There's no experiences in this life that are wasted. Yeah. Although you might not see them as being transferable, if you really sit and you think about it, all that you're going through, it could be used for something that you are currently going through, all that you've gone through in the past, it can be used for what you're currently going through or what you will in the future. But, Kimmy, I gotta let you go because I got people trying to get in. Thank you so much, girl. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Great to see you again. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed week. Bye. Bye-bye. 
Peace, y'all. Who we got trying to get in? This is our time, guys. And I thank everybody for showing up week over week. We growing. And, and, and at the end of the day, guys, this is this is what we do and what we're going to continue to do. I saw somebody trying to get in. I don't know if you're trying to get in still, but anybody wave your hand. If not, we'll shut it down. If there's any questions, I'm reading the comments right now. Any questions that need to be answered, let me know before we sign off. Okay. I don't see anybody trying to get in the conversation. Was somebody waving their hand trying to get in, but it, it, it looks like y'all stepped out. Guys, again, Wednesday nights, it's open. Please, don't just come to listen to somebody else. Jump in the conversation. This is a safe space. This is, this is where you can ask your questions. This is where you can get your questions answered. And if I don't know the answer, I'm sure there's somebody else within our community that does. Hold on, I see a couple of questions down here. I can't read that. How do you get over family not being supportive? I'm not answering that question unless you're willing to get on this live. So who, who is that? Well, I can't, I can't really read that. Somebody just asked, how do you get over your family not being supportive? Wave your hand and try to get into this live. That's what this is about. Stop being scared and hiding behind these, these, and guys, listen, if y'all can't step up and show your face here, how in the world are you going to make it out in the real world? You got to be brave. You got to be willing to put yourself out there. Like, like I know y'all got questions. This is where you get it answered. So if, if, if you got, if, how do you get over your family? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just answer this. But I'm a little, matter of fact, hold on. Here we go. I was about to say, I'm a little disappointed. See. That's you, Joshia? Yes. <laughs> Joshia, what up? Stop, stop being scared to get in this conversation. I thought you were about to cut off. That's the reason why I, I was. I was. This is, this is where we do. So go ahead, ask your question. So the question is, for, I'll, I'll rephrase it this way. For the people that you expect, right, will support you in your dreams or endeavors, how do you get past something like that? to keep going towards what you're trying to shoot for? Okay, it's an excellent question. It's a question that I know so many of us deal with. Mm -hmm. the, the simple answer is they're not going to believe in you in the beginning. I'm sorry to be the one to break the news to you. Mm -hmm. It is very rare that people who know you your entire life, because they see you one way. Mm-hmm. They, they, they see you as, you know, you're just Joshia to them. Right. But they don't know how long you've been sitting on this dream. They don't know how long you have been sitting on this desire to go out there, start your business, and do more with your life. Mm -hmm. So usually, usually, and I can't say this is all the time, mm -hmm. but usually the people who you love mm -hmm. and you know they love you, Right. They are the last ones to come to your support. They really are. Don't look for it for them. Right. You are going right. to find that you're going to get way more people who don't know you, don't have any preconceived ideas of who you are. Right. They're right. just going to see you for what you're doing now. So I remember last time you told us you was making a mask and you're a seamstress. Mm -hmm. If you do dope work, that's all they know of you. Oh, she does the best mask out there. Right. She she she's a great seamstress. Mm -hmm. They don't have no preconceived ideas of who you are, what you should be doing, your past wins and your past losses. Right. So the way to get over that is be successful. The way to get over that is show and prove. I mm -hmm. promise you, all of the people who love you, and I truly believe that they love you. Right. And people who in any other city, um circumstance would have your back mm -hmm. those same people when they see you are doing your thing that's when they're going to show up and it don't take it ain't personal right everybody who has stepped out there on faith 
everybody who has done something that that you know has just been a dream mm -hmm. and they've made a success in themselves mm -hmm. they've all gone through this so it's an excellent question but i can tell you i would not expect the people closest to you to support you in the beginning because they are limited right by their own limitations and and i'm gonna say that again because i want somebody out there to feel me on this if your mother your father, your brother, your sister, right. whoever it is that you know loves you, mm -hmm. if they have only got to a certain level in their life, they put their limitations on you. Yeah. So when you're telling them, I'm going to do this, mm -hmm. like, like you, 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 you a seamstress. Right. You know, I'm like, like for you, you might have in your head, I'm going to build the next house of Versace. They just <laughs> see you as you are today. Right. And because they've never ever done anything except for the status quo, mm -hmm. they put their own limitations on you. Yeah. So that's why you have to show them. Right. Don't talk about it. Be about show it. them. I love that. Yeah. And and, and, and and they'll come on in, I'm telling you. So that's you know, I wish I could give you some better advice, but it, no, them, that's them that's like the best the advice money. because I think when you start something and that's anything, you just automatically expect those closest to you to be supportive, and you can, you know, get let down if it's not the way you expected it. So I mean, for me, I just try to not have expectations, um, but then there are times where you're not a hundred percent sure, so it'll make you feel a certain way, you know. You know, it's it's crazy, and I love that you said that. You know, you said sometimes you're not 100% sure. And yeah. for anybody listening in, depending on where you are in your journey, you know, Josh, you, 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 no matter, it's human nature mm -hmm. to not be 100% sure. Every time I cut on this live, mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure. Right. You know, who am I to be giving somebody advice? Who am I to be trying to motivate and inspire somebody? Mm -hmm. That comes with the territory. So that self-doubt is always going to be there. Right. But yeah. you have to move forward anyway. Mm -hmm. You have to, to, to keep going forward despite your own self-doubts. And right. I can tell you, you know, if it makes you feel any better, you are going to, to, to find that people outside of your immediate circle are going to be the ones that supportive. support you mm -hmm. and tell you what you're doing is dope and tell you that you're dope and to keep, to keep doing what you do. Those are going to be the people who come to your aid in the beginning. And right. that's good. That's not a bad thing. The ones who are closest to you, sometimes they're just limited by their own success and if they have not done anything extraordinary yet they can't see how somebody so close to them is ever going to do more so right. just something for you to keep in mind thank you i don't want to keep you i don't want to waste any more time i thank you for that all right joshia keep up the good one. tell people where they can find you so that they can support you everybody in here needs to be supporting each other they can definitely go to my Instagram at underscore WIM LLC. That's W H I M L L C. You can also find me on Facebook, same business name, WIM LLC. And you can also find me on Etsy at WIM by Jashia. That's J A S H I A. If you want to purchase any mask, customize them, whatever. I got it. I can do it. It's not a problem. Thanks, Jashia. You be good. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Later. All right. Bye bye. All right, we're going to see if anybody else wants to join. We're coming up on that hour. This is the Power Move Hour, y'all. Um, let's see if there's anybody else who wants to jump on. Anybody got any questions before we close it out? We definitely, I like to keep this to about an hour if we can. If y'all have anything, you know, Joshia, you were just on, please put your information in the chat so other people who couldn't catch it real quick, they can catch your information. Everybody else, Y'all know what we do every Monday night. It's more Motivation Mondays. Wednesday night, I open it up to the community. So good looking out to everybody who really checked in tonight. I appreciate y'all and respect what y'all doing. But again, don't come to this community if all you're going to do is sit and listen.
participate in it. Be part of it. Spread the word. Let people know what's going on out there. It's a lot of movers. And I got to believe if you are in this live, you are a mover. You are somebody that wants more. And I want to support you. I want us to support each other. All right, y'all. Don't forget, go ahead and watch that interview with my man, Success. If y'all know anybody who's trying to get a record deal, the VP of a &R at Atlantic Records, Success. He gave so many jewels, so much wisdom. Go check that out. It's on YouTube, and it's also on podcast form. If y'all go to um, any of the streaming platforms, that's, that's Apple Music, uh, Spotify, so forth and so on. Hold on. I see one person. I see that it's coming toward the end. I got two people trying to jump in. Hold on. Let's see if we can take a quick call before we close it out. We got five more minutes. See who's trying to jump in this live. Who we got? Who we got? Okay, I just let somebody in. See, we got five minutes. We'll make it quick, y'all. Okay. okay, how you doing, King? I will do my best to try to make this quick. But, um, brother, I've been around this industry for a minute, but I tell you, you hit me hard tonight, man. I'm in a positive way, man. You, you really Hold on, before, me... before you go, introduce yourself to the community. You are a mover, and you're in the midst of movers right now. Please let everybody know who you are, where you calling from. Uh, my name is Haywood Donerson the third, and I'm calling from Washington D.C. Okay, Haywood, what up? Welcome to welcome to the live man, the Power Move Maker Hour. Thank you, King. Um, and I uh, just wanted to uh, say that uh, since I've been uh, following uh, a lot of your interviews and everything of that nature, I've been inspired, but I've also been a little nervous, to be honest with you. And I've mentioned my age before because I'm a brother. I've been around the industry. For 30 something years, I'm 50. And, you know, a lot of the interviews that I see, you know, they're, they're people that was doing things back in the day and they, they got themselves together to a point. So now they're so called successful or whatever, they're able to provide for their families and do what they need to do. And as I look back and I, I hear what you're saying tonight in regards to a lot of people, you know, things that I might have went through in the past mm -hmm. to set me up for things in the future or what I'm going through right now, you know? And uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Queen. I, uh, but 50 years old in the industry, you know, it's people who are coming in, they're, they're just starting to be interns now. Mm -hmm. I was an intern uh, before, you know, and I've done those things. Man, you know, you just, when I tell you, I've, I've, I'm just nervous right now. Not just nervous about what I'm getting ready to do, but I'm even nervous to talk in, in this community because I'm, I'm just normally behind the scenes. Correct. And this is my and I'm getting ready to put my life story out there. You know, I got an amazing life story and I'm nervous about it. And um, but I just wanted to say, Mr. Prez, just thank you, King. I mean, this has to be one of the best communities on social media, period, point blank, bro. So just thank you, man. Yeah. Hey, what I'm going to tell you, number one, you know, thank you. That makes my heart feel good. You know, we never had a chance to, to, to meet in person and. You talk about your age and you're worried about it. Brother, like, like I'm out here doing something completely new, completely different than anybody knows me for. Nobody don't know me to be, you know, this inspirational speaker. Nobody knows me in this lane. And I'm starting from the ground up. So use me as encouragement. That's, that's number one. But I really want you to understand that fear is natural. It, it truly is. And I, and, I, and, I, and I say this all the time because I need people to know. I don't, like every time I press the button to go on live, you have to understand the nervousness and, and the stress that, you know, I experience because I don't, you know, I, I just want to serve. I want to help. I want to encourage people. But I don't know if I'm going to say something that's really going to spark something in somebody. I don't know if people are going to look at me and be like, well, you're not necessarily qualified for this. I don't know. 
but I do it anyway. And that's why I, I, I just want you to know that nervousness, that, that fear, it is so natural. But the difference is, is showing up. You have to show up for this thing. You have to, I don't care. You, you, you know, and I don't know what it is that you want to do in the industry. I don't know what it is that, that, you know, if you're in front of the camera or in front of a mic or if you're behind the scenes, I don't know what it is. But number one, it ain't too late. It is not too late. I just posted somebody uh, earlier this week who was 16 or 14 years old doing some amazing things. And I wrote like, look, oh, matter of fact, it was a 14 year old who watched one of my interviews uh, uh, about a vending machine um, kingpin. And, you know, 14 year old was like, oh, my God, like I love these. It was two two people I interviewed who had vending machine businesses and they're doing yeah, exceptionally well. Yeah. And the 14 year old was saying this interview gave me the motivation to go out there and, and, and start my vending machine business. And I, and I posted like, you're never too young and you're never too old to make power moves. You're just not. And right now you got to get out your own head. You are placing way too much on your age. You're placing way too much. Age is a number, brother. Nothing more than that. You got to get that out of your head and wake up tomorrow and look at, okay, I'm 50. That means I got more experience. That means that I come in with a different vernacular than most people. That means that I'm a little wise. All of you, There's so much that you bring to the table at your age that somebody who's 20 they just haven't walked the road that you walked. They haven't done the things you've done. But you're never going to get to the finish line if you cripple yourself now by telling yourself, my age is the reason I'm not going to get there. I, I, I'm past my prime in this thing. That right there is the worst thing you can do. And, and, it's, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. That goes for anybody. I got a good friend named Jose Inspires. This is a brother who has, uh, uh, and I don't want to misquote his disease, but he literally is wheelchair bound. His wife and his children have to pick him up, move him around, all of that stuff. Now, he could s sit there and let that limitation, you know, be in his head and, yo, know, I can't do anything but be you know, working a job that, that's on the phones. And this is one of the illest and best motivational speakers out there. He took what some would look at as, you know, maybe a deficit, and he used it to say, look, I'm in this wheelchair, but I'm more alive than 99% of the people walking. So I would just tell you, stop looking at your age as a detractor or it's something that works against you. You got to get out of your own head. And, and I pray that this conversation and I pray that, you know, all that we've talked about tonight and even some of the videos that, you know, interviews that I do, it is showing you people who started late and, 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 and they, they, they're they killing the game. They're killing it. Thank you, King. I appreciate you so very much, brother. Absolutely. Hey, Wood, I thank you so much. You know, just, just so, so the audience knows, where can they follow you? And what is it that you do? It's just so if people want to get in touch with you offline, they can. Well, you can follow me at Mr. D from DC on Instagram. Uh, Facebook is Haywood Donerson III. And I'm really the people's publicist. I've been doing public relations for 20 years. I used to be on stage with a record deal uh, 30 years ago, like I said. But uh been work. I've worked after parties with Steve Solomon. You might have known him. Rest his soul. Uh, I was his personal assistant. So I've I've been around the game for a minute. I got a lot of knowledge and wisdom, and you just busted my ass with some good wisdom. So I'm gonna get out my own way. Make sure you do, and make sure you put your information in the chat. And you should be ashamed of yourself, Haywood. You just said you a PR person. Do you understand? Fifty. You at fifty years old. You got every key person. In your, 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 um, I'm about to say a Rolodex, but I don't know if anybody <laughs> uses that anymore. But you got every key person in your contacts, man. 
at 50, that, but that's what, that's what the great thing about getting older is. You got people you've been knowing for 20 and 30 years that where somebody younger, they can't get a call through. They can't make something happen. But the fact that you've been doing it for as long as you have, you can pick up the phone and get it through right away. So make sure you put your information down there. If anybody needs a publicist, make sure y'all hit them up. Thank you, King. Be good. Hey, good. I'm here. Much love, brother. Keep yeah. making power moves. Will do. One. All right, y'all. Uh, I saw one other person waiting. Maybe we'll pick you up next week. I don't see you there no more. But, um, yo, I love these conversations, y'all. Let's keep inspiring each other. And I'll see y'all next week. Keep making power moves. I love y'all. And see y'all on Monday. One.